Upper House approves motion to allow for reallocation of money to different ministries. Details to this story and more in the National Report. With the National Report, I'm Rakesha St. Louis. The Upper House has approved the Appropriation 2018 Act, 2017 Act No. 27 of 2017, which provides for the reallocation of money approved for certain ministries. The motion, which was put forward by Leader of Government Business, Senator Simon Steele, is as a consequence of the March 2018 general elections, which resulted in the strategic realignment of ministries. One of the most significant is the creation of the Ministry of Climate Resilience, the Environment, Forestry, Fisheries, Disaster Management and Information. This is recognizing the need for us as a nation, for us as a government, to take a far more strategic approach to climate change. Climate change, as we all know, is one of the greatest threats that is facing not only Grenada, but countries worldwide. And in particular, highly vulnerable states, um, small island developing states, such as Grenada. The motion was supported by government senators Norland Cox and Winston Galloway. This amendment this evening basically is showing that government is keeping in line with what it set out to do to ensure that we do not in any way interfere or create any harm to our fiscal stability by just making ad hoc amendments or, or adding to our budget, but to ensure that we keep in line and to secure those gains that we would have had in terms of how we did business before and how we are doing it now. This bill before us today is extremely important because it now gives the government the ability to spend in this new ministry. And given that come June 1st, will be the, the start of the Atlantic hurricane season. It's important to note, Mr. President, that we need to spend monies re-vis-a-vis -vis our work towards ensuring that we are fully prepared and ready for whatever eventualities that should come re this hurricane season. During Friday's proceedings, long-standing Senator Christopher Diali took the oath of allegiance as Deputy President of the Senate. Grenada's Prime Minister, Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell, has congratulated Barbados's new Prime Minister, Honorable Mia Motley, on her unprecedented win at the polls and a subsequent assumption to the leadership of Barbados. This follows her party's overwhelming victory at the polls on Thursday. In a letter written to the new Prime Minister on Friday, Dr. Mitchell said, and I quote, I personally look forward to working with you in addressing the many common and challenging issues of our time, including promoting the Caribbean Court of Justice as our final court. Those of us in the region who view the CCG as extremely important to the completion of our independence and our own democratic consolidation must work together to ensure that the Caribbean, as a family, fulfill this objective. He added that Grenada reaffirms its commitment to the bonds of friendship between our two countries. Dr. Mitchell told the new Barbadian Prime Minister that her record of inclusiveness will indeed take on new meaning in this period as she aspires to live up to the expectations of the people for change and economic advancement. Meanwhile, the government has also congratulated President Nicolas Maduro on his re-election to the Venezuelan presidency. It also issued a brief statement saying Grenada therefore joins with others in the international community in advocating that the decision of the Venezuelan people be received Expected, and we express sincere hope that these results will serve as a catalyst for the new process of dialogue and reconciliation that is inclusive of all Venezuelans and celebrated in good faith. This is the National Report. More news after the break. This year's Spice Mask Climax is on August 13th and 14th. It is an event you just cannot afford to miss. I am Tamaya Monroe, Miss Grenada 2017, inviting you to the festivities, the shortney and all the different traditional masks, the fancy mask, the Monday night mask, 
And as Specky say, the best part of Carnival, the juve. Spice Mask 2018 is one that's going to be fun, epic, unforgettable. Miss Grenada 2017 to Maya Monroe inviting you to the Carnival Queen Show on August 9, 2018 to witness the seven beautiful ladies contesting for the title Miss Grenada 2018. It is an event that you cannot afford to miss. Miss Grenada said so. This one's for you, mommy. This one is for mommy. You play your part and you still play your part. I love you from the heart, boy. Mommy, you lost your love, your body. Put it till you depart. This one's for me, heart. Welcome back. The services industry is bustling with excitement as several businesses gear up for the second annual services expo on June 21st and 22nd. The expo has been organized by the Grenada Coalition of Services Industry Limited, the GCSI, to give businesses the opportunity to advertise their services, which in turn will guide them towards being export ready. This year's exposition will be held under the theme, The Future is Now. GCSI's Chairman Jude Bernard says the future of Grenada lies within the services industry as it contributes significantly to the country's GDP. Over 80% of the GDP of this country comes from services. Gone are the days when we were an agrarian society and we produced a lot of agricultural products and sent them overseas. We don't produce one-tenth of even what we eat today. And we are not a manufacturing country where we manufacture goods. So we basically, everything around that you see around us, almost everybody is employed in Greece is employed in a service-related business of some sort. If it's ICT, if it's in computers, if it's in training, like the SGU, whatever. Most of those are service-related businesses. Bernard said there are plans in the pipeline to make the event a regional one. If things work the way we expect them to work this year, by next year, God willing, we should be able to invite exhibitors from outside, from our region. There are other coalition of service industries in the region who would love to learn from our experience. And we hope by, for, by next year, by 2019, we'll be able to make it a regional expo and not just a local one. We would have had two years of learning the ropes, learning from our mistakes. This year, the coalition is prepared to host and promote 22 small, medium and micro-sized enterprises within the various service sectors. The 2018 Expo will be held at the Grenada Trade Center on June 21st and 22nd. And finally, young farmers are anticipating a shift in focus coming out of the CDB-funded Youth Outreach Boot Camp in Grenada which highlights the effects of climate change and urgent need for action. The Grenada leg of the Vibes In project was launched on Wednesday under the theme, Climate Action Today Equals Food for Tomorrow. More than 30 young farmers participated in the three-day camp at the Kalinago Beach Resort. It's very much important because um, with the change in the climate, we need to learn things that we can do and we need to be producing more with the increase in the temperature, um, it sort of hampers the amount that we can produce. And I think these workshops should be done more often and especially with the youths so that we can learn ways in which we can um, increase our production and safeguard our food security. We're seeing a lot of change, especially for climate change. We're seeing a lot of um, hurricanes, storms, a lot of different things that we never saw before. Heavy rains, rains, like during the giant season, the, um, the seasons are changed. So as me here representing for in Grenada to Peter Martinic, I will bring back the information and then spread it. At the present time and not just now, we have seen that climate is affecting our culture. And um, in order for our culture to grow, in order for us to have good food in our country, we need to tackle this um, problem. So I think that um, workshop will be very, very vital. Youth coordinator Norman Gilbert is optimistic that the training will bring about much needed change in the agribusiness sector among young people. And we have looked at the agenda as well and we believe that based on what is going to be presented, 
um, they would leave here being better agribusiness persons, not just agricultural producers for their own personal benefit, but that they would be able to move that venture into actual agribusinesses and be able to sustain their, their, their families. Gilbert gave the reassurance that the Ministry of Youth's Small Business Program continues to provide business and financial support to youth entrepreneurs. Now to recap today's top story, Upper House approves motion to allow for reallocation of money to different ministries. On behalf of the entire news team, I am Rakesha St. Louis saying thank you for joining us.